What's up, good people? I'm Zay, and this is First Generational Wealth Building, where we break generational curses and build wealth. Now, the government has been sending out millions and millions of stimulus checks. And recently, President Donald Trump tweeted about the new Get My Payment tool that's supposed to help people get their payments a lot faster. Now, with this tool, you can input some information and it'll tell you exactly how your money is supposed to be delivered and when you might expect to receive it. The problem is people have been getting a cryptic message that says payment status not available. And with the call center being uh, closed down due to this pandemic, people are just wondering like, how and when can I get my money? In today's video, I'm gonna help you guys decode what that message means. Now, if you guys can press that like button, it will really help me get this video to other people who might be experiencing the same exact problem. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the first message that you might get may come up as payment status not available. Now there's gonna be one of three reasons why you might get this status. So the first reason is that you probably aren't even eligible for the payment or for the stimulus check. So make sure to check your income from your last tax return, whether it was 2018 or 2019, to see if you even qualify. That could be the reason why you're getting this status. Second reason you could be getting this status is because the IRS is still uh, processing your 2019 income tax. So if you recently filed, it still could be processing it, meaning your information is not in the tool yet. And so therefore you're getting this message. The last reason you might get this message is if you're someone that receives supplemental income or you're getting veteran benefits. Because these folks' information have not been uploaded to the tool yet, you might get this message. Now, if you are getting this message, I wanna add that you aren't gonna be able to update your bank information at this time. So therefore, they will not be able to give you the direct deposit. So if you're receiving this status, it might be for one of those three reasons. Now, the second message that you might get is need more information. And that could be for one of two reasons. So the first reason is that basically the IRS does not have your bank account information. And so the tool is gonna prompt you to input that information. So really, really easy fix on this one. Uh, if you get need, inf need more information, more than likely you just need to add your bank account. The second reason that you might get this is because your address or your adjusted gross income that you're inputting might not match your tax return. So it's gonna be really key for you to go look at your last tax return and make sure that the address and adjusted gross income that you're inputting max matches exactly with your last tax return. So that's the reason why you could be getting a message uh, needs more information. And so the third message you might get is you're eligible, but no payment is available. Now, all this means is that if you get this message, more than likely you are eligible, you just haven't been scheduled for a payment date yet. Now, if you recently updated your bank account information, that's another reason why this may happen. And at that point, all you really can do is just be patient. So for the people who are receiving that message, you're eligible, but no payment date is available. Um, the best thing I can tell you guys is just be a little bit patient and uh, the check is coming. That's really what that means. And so the fourth and final message that you might get is going to say your money was sent to an old bank account. And if you get this message, basically what you need to know is that the bank is going to send that money back to the IRS. The IRS is then going to send you a paper check to the address on file from the last time you filed your taxes. So 2018 or 2019. And then once they send that check, they'll update your information in the tool. So if you get this message, Basically, what you need to do is sit tight, you know, let the bank return the money. That probably takes a couple days. Then the IRS has to process it and send you a paper check and with mail, who knows? So again, in this case, all you can do is just be patient. If you're using the tool and you get one of those messages, hopefully I was able to provide some clarity for you. Stay tuned. If I get any other updates, I'll be sure to update you guys. And in the meantime, please, like I said, press that like button as well as subscribe so we can get this to other people. And until next video, stay blessed. Peace out.